Welcome back to Fab Fun. My name is Logan, and today we're working on the C60 Big Blue. Um, had a brake line pop. If you didn't watch the last video, kind of introducing the project. Uh, brake line going to the driver's side. I can just show you. Brake line going to the driver's side. Back wheel popped right as it goes into the backing plate or into the uh, wheel cylinder. It has two wheel cylinders per wheel. So one of them would have been bypassed on the passenger side. We decided to take the wheels off, get the drum off, and get one of those wheel cylinders off, the one that was bypassed and not being used, um, to try to get the numbers off of it, make sure we could match it up with new ones to find out how much could we replace, kind of my idea, I guess, um, to get new wheel cylinders, um, all four. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Well, thanks for joining me on this, uh, tear down and rebuild. Uh, this is more of the tear down part. I'm trying to get that spanner nut off the inside. Just took the axle shaft out. I did have a little bit of trouble getting the wheels off. I thought I could break them loose with a, uh, a strong arm and a breaker bar and couldn't. Ended up getting a pretty big impact and they came off. Did learn the hard way that you can take extensions off an impact and it will actually help the performance of the impact, which is what we had to do here to get the wheels off. Did that. Uh, then ran into a little bit of trouble with the brake shoes grabbing the drum a little bit. It had been off fairly recently, but it's still, it's pretty heavy and pretty big. So finally got that off and uh, I do apologize. There's some, some not so good angles here pretty soon, but uh, we couldn't get the bolts out of the wheel cylinder. Two of them were rounded off pretty bad and rusted up. Uh, we were going to use a blowtorch and decided there wasn't much of an angle to get in there to it so decided to go in between the backing plate and the wheel cylinder and hit it with a reciprocating saw and finally cut through the two bolts and got them off. Uh, I do want to say thanks to both my grandfather, my great uncle Dave and that's my cousin Stanley there um, and I even had a neighbor Calvin uh, stop by and offered some assistance and some advice and uh, it's just uh it's good to have family that's pretty close by even distant relatives and friends and people that are connected to family one way or the other so special thanks to them for stopping by and helping out i do appreciate it i appreciate the advice and and the experience it's kind of interesting to be working on a farm truck from 1973 and you find out that some of the bolts are rusted up so tight that even if you can get a socket on them, they just round off uh, and based on the angle, couldn't get in behind it with vice grips and we were thinking about using a torch, thought about using the plasma cutter, um, thought about a couple of different things. And finally, uh, somebody suggested just take the Sawzall, uh, reciprocating saw and go between the backing plate and the wheel cylinder. I got one of the bolts off. This is the line coming in and then there's a bleeder here. These two bolts were still stuck. Um, so zip those off and it came off pretty easy. So if anybody's working on the wheel cylinders of a 1973 C60 with a two speed rear end, maybe that's a number you want to consider seeing if you can have a See if you can get that wheel cylinder. And there is one at the top. There's an identical one at the bottom that's run upside down. I assume the other side's the exact same way. On the bottom one, you've got the line coming from, well, farther up the truck. That the brake fluid's coming in, goes into one, then there's another where the bleeder would normally be. It's going out, I believe and comes back around the back side of the backing plate and goes in and then you've got a bleeder on the top one. So you just bleed the top one and get all the air out of the system. So we got it apart today. 
Got to order the parts when they come in. We will be dealing with uh, the second phase of this project, replacing the wheel cylinders. The shoes are actually in pretty good shape. And I will say this is the first time I've ever had the drum off of a C60. They are not light. Quite a bit of steel there. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna have more parts to the series, hopefully just one more part and get a lot of work done, but we're gonna be replacing some brake lines, gonna replace the wheel cylinders if we can get some, and uh, hopefully making this thing a little bit more reliable and definitely want it to stop. So, more video to come. If you don't mind, I uh, would appreciate you commenting on what you thought of the video. If you liked it, go ahead and like. And if you have liked several videos that you've watched so far, go ahead and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And hopefully we can continue making content that is both entertaining and for some people out there looking, how to, looking at ways to how to fix projects that they're working on, uh, including a 1973 C60 like this one, then maybe it's educational too. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.